in typical Halo community fashion, a prominent streamer says an opinion about Halo and the community divides itself and, and picks sides and turns into full on Twitter civil war. This time it was Summit 1G who has a controversial opinion about Halo. Halo, in my opinion, was not ruined at all. I think Halo 5 is the best Halo, personally. I think a lot of people that like the old Halos are caught in nostalgia. You guys have been playing the old fucking Halos forever now, and it's super fucking boring, dude. Halo 5 is absolutely the best Halo. Sorry. Uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't going to like that. I think that the... Um, I like the boost thing um, a lot, whatever the Wah. fuck it was. I think it served for a lot of outplayability, and uh, I enjoyed watching those tournaments a lot more than I enjoy watching fucking Halo 3 tournaments. Which is boring. Wah. Guys moving about two Wah. miles an hour, burst rifling at each other, which you can't even really see the skill, right? There's a lot of skill there. You really can't see it that much because everybody's looking pretty much the same. But Halo 5, you bet your Wah. F Wah. that Frosty's out there making everyone else look bad. You know what I'm saying? Like the, he's showcasing the, f the level of skill that True. the game can bring. Sorry, I, it's just how it goes. Nostalgia might be running some of you guys on that one, bros. Go watch Halo 3 and Halo 2. They're boring as f so I'd like to start off by saying Summit here lacks tact. Uh, that's kind of his brand, though. Uh, he did it to Sea of Thieves and Halo. And, you know, he's he has very strong opinions about things. It's worth remembering here that, uh, you know, opinions are just that. They're opinions. He downplays it a little bit, but he's certainly, again, not not the nicest way of saying things. So that rubbed a lot of people the wrong way. So I blasted this out with the note that this is this is another opinion out there. Halo community is its own bubble. Uh, everything's a bubble, right? Everybody exists in their their own biased world. It's always worth identifying your biases out there. I use this as evidence that there are people who do like Halo 5 more. And I, I find it weird that I'm even saying it like that. So to this this tweet that went out of the summit clip a lot of halo 5 pros agreed with him right they're like halo 5 is fantastic it's the best halo game if not at least one of the best halo games out there now of course the bias therein lies in these people are you know world champions of halo 5 obviously they're gonna love that game i think that's relatively inevitable but that being said i agree to some extent to the things he's saying and some things I don't agree with. What I do agree with is that Halo 5 multiplayer is one of the best Halo multiplayers. I stand by that. It's, you know, again, multiplayer campaign, the worst multiplayer. Mm, it's strong. It's obviously, you know, maybe a tad too fast. Uh, I could call it the, the weirdest Halo, potentially, right? It strays the farthest from the original formula. I, oddly enough, <laughs> you know, I also fit, looking at the grand scheme of things, I also put Halo CE in there. You really notice it when you're playing MCC and you're switching between games, how different Halo CE is. It is a very different game. This isn't a knock on Halo CE. You know, it's one of the greatest video games ever made, but it is weird, right? It has its things. It has its Halo CE isms. It has its spawn camping. It has its floaty movement. It has its wild melees, right? A lot of people out there think Halo 2 multiplayer is the best in the series. For me, I think it's the best in terms of competitive games. It's very strong. You have your button combos, which people love. Someday I'd love to really get my opinions out on button combos and what I think about all that, but how people uh, i saw someone comparing it to like the smash of like the smash melee of the halo world and i think i agree with that for halo 2 it's just such a strong game however i don't think it translates as well to a casual audience like halo 3 does i think halo 3 is the best multiplayer game of the bunch because of that right so you can still play at a very very high competitive level I love watching Halo 3 tournaments. I find them so fascinating. I love the maps. That, that probably is a huge factor as to why Halo 3 multiplayer is so good. It's an awesome game. And it's accessible. It is very accessible. Ish. Now, obviously, I'm not taking into account modern games. And that is where we see this comment from Summit. Halo 3 is slow. You can't recognize when plays are good 
unless you know Halo and you know Halo 3. And I agree with that, right? It's not flashy. Halo isn't flashy. Halo 5 was the flashiest Halo. People made crazy plays. Someone himself here talks about the thrusting mechanic, right? And and all the crazy slide jumps. Mechanically, it took, oddly enough, it took a while. But you th look at people like Shyway in the videos he's producing. The absolute insane stuff you can do with Halo 5 mechanics there are just, they're wild. It's just crazy. And I wish the game was more popular this time to see all those things come into play. Now, one of the points that Summit uses here that really upsets people is the nostalgia goggles factor, which unfortunately I also agree with to an extent. Don't hate me. Unfortunately, once again, he lacks tact here. He doesn't say it very nicely and he presents, despite kind of saying otherwise, he does present a lot of what he says as fact, which really grinds my gears. It's a problem in the Halo community since since I've been around, like the beginning of it, right? Like people presenting this thing of like, which is definitively better, which is why I'm making this whole video with the notion that everyone has their favorite Halo games. There is no right answer here as to what the right one is. But we also have people like Shroud playing Halo 3 and going, why can't I sprint? This game should have sprint. Bro, there needs to be a sprint okay. in a game like this. Oh! There Give needs to be. There's no mechanics, no movement. Give me some movement. We don't want Halo to just adhere to modern trends. That's something that a lot of people push back against, right? Because at the end of the day, the argument that is always going to win, no matter what you say, no matter what your opinions are, no matter what you present as fact, despite not being fact, the one thing that you cannot argue against is this is how Halo always was. There is no comeback to that. That's the reality. Any change past that, to me, past Halo 3, a lot of people forget that Reach, <sighs> Reach was a thing. You know, it's it's the Halo cycle of like, oh, now this game is the best game. Now this game is the best game. But a lot of you know, I don't like Halo Reach. Uh, it did a lot of things. It, it started the trend of the abilities. We're not going to dive into the Halo Reach thing right now. But Halo 1, 2, 3, that's the classic Halo, right? Past that, it becomes a very different beast. So the argument that wins is that Halo now is not Halo then. A big question that game developers are tasked with is how much do you adhere to an old formula and attracting old fans versus attracting new fans? And with Halo, it's probably the trickiest game in the entire industry to balance. It's very hard to walk that line because the very, very, very vocal you know, Twitter users, you know, community members who are really out there creating content, doing stuff, seems to lean towards the classic direction. And that's that makes sense, right? Like these are the games we grew up on. Uh, and it seems to be whichever one's your favorite is the one that you played the most or the one that you were raised on, your first one, etc. For me, it was Halo 3 because that was really when the community was taking off and I was starting to build websites and stuff. And, like that was such a highlight in my career. A lot of people say Halo Reach because they're kind of, I consider like Reach kids the next generation of Halo fans. They're not as OG as the ones before that. And there's a lot of Halo Reach lovers out there. But... There are a lot of Halo 5 fans out there. Halo 5 did awesome stuff, but it strayed maybe a bit too far from the Halo formula. If Halo 5 didn't have sprint, ground pound, maybe it was like only thrust or something, you know, it was just, it was minimal, it had less, it wouldn't be as far. The movement just became so much farther, right? It's a very different game. It's very fast paced. It's very flashy. But it's a good game. Halo 5 is a good game. It's hard not to be blinded by the Halo umbrella here, right? If we strip the name Halo from Halo 5, it's a game called Guardians, right? It's a sweet game. You are hard-pressed to find shooters out there that are, are as mechanically solid. But it's not classic Halo. And it made a lot of stupid changes for no good reason. Rocket Launcher... Still mad about that. And the fact that we're seeing the same thing happening on Infinite blows my mind. Why do we have all these new weapons? Why are they replacing the shotgun? I mean, new weapons up great. Why are we replacing the shotgun? It, it you know, what's going on there? <laughs> I always try to be very grounded in these senses and, and, and thinking about the, the larger picture, trying not to be blinded by biases, which is, is essentially impossible, right? Like it's very, very hard to acknowledge your biases and kind of get around them. It's inevitable for everybody. 
but I always try to lean on the bigger picture. How old do you think the average classic Halo fan is right now? Because I would argue 30, 35, 30 to 40, right? <laughs> Honestly, like that's that must be the for the most part. Think about it. You have an aging fan base. They are worth keeping around. They are worth bringing back. But can you bring them back? How can you bring them back? I don't have these answers, but it's something I always think about. And it's something that game devs are thinking about themselves. It's something that 343 is going to be struggling with until the end of time. As we get older and we get lives and we get families, we're never going to be as dedicated in the Halo community as we were during Halo 3, during Halo 2, etc. Save for a select few who are like doing YouTube and content creation stuff who, like Summit, will be very vocal because that's what they're doing all the time. That does not make them correct in any way. Just because someone has a ton of viewers doesn't mean their opinion is worth any more than anyone else's. It's a trap that people get caught in if someone can make a longer rant that's somehow more correct. That's something that's brought me a lot of frustration over the years of YouTube and content creation. I've been doing this forever. It used to be, you know, such a YouTube and now it's a who can make a longer video and make people angry tube. I mean, as is evident by this, right? Made people angry, got a ton of shares. That's how it is. So despite lacking any sort of tact at all, Summit gave an opinion. I don't think he meant to phrase it as rudely as he did. But also, Halo fans are sensitive. <laughs> we don't we don't like to think of ourselves as that. But, you know, it's it, it's very clear, right? You remove a police emblem from the game and people go absolutely bananas. Let's all chill. Let's relax a bit. Let's, let's talk this out. The whole point of this discussion here is that people have varying opinions. And a lot of people love Halo 5. I love Halo 5. Should Halo keep going that route? I don't know. Should Halo go back to more classic routes? I don't know. I don't have the answers there, and no one has the answers. Anyone pretending to be your prophet probably has ulterior motives, even if that's just an immense love for Halo, everyone gets a little blinded by something, blinded by the majesty of Halo. Everyone wants their baby back. Everyone wants to fill this hole in their heart that maybe Halo Reach caused, that maybe Halo 4 caused, maybe Halo 5 caused, maybe Halo 3 caused it, maybe Halo 2. Halo's gonna be around forever. Halo's the Star Wars of video games. Anyone who tells you otherwise is bonkers. That's not how the world works. Again, bigger picture, it's a business. It's a name that you slap on something and it'll sell. Final Fantasy's not going anywhere. God of War is not going anywhere. Halo's not going anywhere. You're gonna have some flubs and you just gotta hope that you're gonna be alive for when they correct those flubs. In summary, is Summit 1G right? Is Summit 1G wrong? It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. I'm just using this to highlight that there are varying opinions out there but maybe present them with a little more tact. But I guess if it gets you a ton of money, you do whatever you want, man. That's capitalism.